It's a banking crisis. It began in the banks and its uh, uh, final uh, scene is going to be enacted again in the banking crisis uh, sector realm as it is as we speak. If Greece leaves the Eurozone, there will be no Eurozone left. And that's not just uh, specific to Greece. It's a jigsaw puzzle of the sort that if one piece of the jigsaw is removed, the whole thing collapses. But when is, what's the solution then? The solution is to save the Euro because a collapse of that uh, jigsaw puzzle will have untold human cost, both for the deficit countries and the surplus countries. And how can we do that? through um, three main steps that we need to take. Firstly, we need to deal with the banking sector crisis at the European level, not at the national uh, level, but at the European level. And we need to recapitalize them forcefully, like the Americans did and like the British did, and not to leave it to Paris or to Berlin or to Rome to do it separately because they won't do it. The second thing we need to do is to, to effect some rational debt management at the level of the Eurozone as a whole, not to treat it as a debt crisis for Greece, for Portugal, for Ireland, but as a debt crisis that started from the banking sector but nevertheless became a serious sovereign debt crisis Europe-wide. And the third thing we need, we need an investment policy which will recycle productively, not in form of handouts, but in form of productive, profitable investments, surpluses into the deficit regions, which are not necessarily in the south, you know, there are deficit re regions within Germany too, so as to create the growth which will be the, the final nail in the coffin of the recession. What's the role of the ECB in this? The role of the ECB is central. The ECB not only is the guardian of price stability but it should be uh, the banker of the Eurozone, not in the sense of printing money but in the sense of borrowing internationally in order to effect a sensible rational debt restructuring that will make the debt crisis go away. And who's going to guarantee this? The ECB itself. The ECB has the capacity, simply because of the way that the Eurozone is structured, of uh, offering facilities, financial facilities, to the member states for a debt conver conversion that the member states will pay fully themselves, as they do now. Don't, don't forget that all member states of the Eurozone are responsible for their own fiscal situation. That doesn't change. The only thing that we are asking for is for the ECB to orchestrate a rational restructuring of the whole of the Eurozone debt, at least of the Maastricht compliant part of it. And do, you, do you think that will uh, help Greece in, in short term or is it a long term? Greece is uh, in, a, in the final stages of a terminal illness. Greece may, will not recover for a very long time, perhaps decades. My great concern as a European is for the rest of Europe at the moment. Because in the final analysis, it's no good to Greece if the rest of Europe uh, goes belly up, if this contagion spreads to the surplus parts of the, of the Eurozone. Uh, but in the meantime, the Greek people will have a very, very tough time. Yes, they will. But this is the name of the game. When you have a debt crisis that was caused by a banking crisis, which leads to a real economic crisis of the sort that we experienced uh, in, in this world in 1929 and again in 2008, then the weakest links suffer enormously. The canaries in the mine die and Greece is in that unfortunate situation. But the point now is to prevent a, a postmodern 1930s from spreading to the rest of the world.